Heading to the range is always a good thing. It's just a time to relax, a time for you know just plinking, or a time to sight in your scope, or just to get your accuracy where you want it, or maybe you're training and you're learning uh, especially self-defense techniques. And a lot of times we take time off from work or we have a day off and we go and we do these things, but there's nothing worse than getting to the range and not having the items you need. So we're gonna take a look at the ultimate range bag. And really what this is, is putting together a list of the things that you really need that can make your shooting experience smooth and easy. So let's check it out. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, I have forgotten targets, I've forgotten ammo, I've forgotten magazines some of the most critical parts of being at the range. Having the items you need together is really important. And it's not really that difficult, just keeping everything in your range bag. If there are things that you use outside of your range bag, have it separate. One of the things that I typically do is keep some items uh, in my vehicle, in my truck, like targets, like uh, ammunition, which, you know, that can be a problem in some states. Uh, so you need to check your local laws. So the first thing you need to do to put together your ultimate range bag is to check your local laws. Now here is one of my range bags. I got this from LA Police Gear probably eight years ago. Very reasonable. It's held up very well and I use this quite a bit. But it has a lot of different compartments. has a large compartment in the center and one of the most important things is that it does have a shoulder strap and when you're carrying a lot of gear having a good shoulder strap is important. And then here is my Maxpedition compact range bag. This has been my standby. It's been my favorite. It's padded, has a compartment that comes out. I love this bag. In fact, you'll see this in a lot of videos where I'm shooting with the bag, rested on the bag. Now, one of the things about this bag, and it's not about the bag, it's about my shooting. <laughs> one time I was shooting 308 and I let the muzzle get too close right here and it actually, the blast actually cut through the zipper. And so I ended up just taking this part off. I have another one of these bags coming and I'm gonna do another full review on this bag. After having it for about three years, this has been a fantastic bag from Expedition. Now it costs quite a bit more than the LA Police Gear bag, but it is, the quality is way above the LA Police Gear bag. And this is one of my largest bags. And there are many times, especially if I'm going to a defensive pistol class or rifle class and I'm doing some training of some sort, I really need a large bag to be able to work from. This is an excellent bag. It's actually from Allen, but it's one of the HPR uh, bags that I got from those guys. This has been a fantastic bag. And I'm not saying you need three bags. Uh, I definitely have a unique situation, but what I'm saying is find the bag that's right for you that's the most versatile. Now this would seem like a no brainer, but make sure that you have the firearms you need, uh, whatever you're using. Uh, you know, it could be like the Century Arms C308. Uh, the other day we went to the range it does come with a five round magazine and it comes with two 20 rounders and i have a bunch of these these are hk magazines i forgot the 20 rounders all we had was the five rounder so we were having to load it and even one time i was doing a ballistic steel test on some ar500 armor.com armor like this behind us and i forgot all my magazines for and it was a set me I ended up putting one bullet at a time to do the test. <laughs> that is not something that you really want to do when you're going to the range to spend a good day at the range. Here, of course, with a lot of extra mags with the Browning High Power, having your magazines is definitely important uh, when you're going to shoot. Of course, if you're shooting a bolt action or a revolver, there's a whole different set there. But specifically with your semi-automatic firearms, having the extra magazines really makes the range day much better. Of course, making sure you have your ammo available and all the calibers. One of the things that I tend to do is I'll put some of the things together and then end up leaving, you know, something out. And so, you know, the calibers that you usually shoot, just going through and making sure you have those calibers with you. Now, protecting your eyes, protecting your ears. Very important when it comes to the shooting sports. Uh, but one of the things you don't want to do is have these. Regular glasses are not ballistic protection. Uh, you really need to have some good ballistic glasses. Uh, and there are a lot of different ones out there. So get something that can preserve your eyesight. You're probably not going to get hit directly, obviously, with a bullet. But fragments and things can come back, even gases, and they can uh, damage your eyes. And if you lose your eyesight, you lose your ability to really shoot. Uh, also, hearing protection, very important. Some people have very sensitive hearing. Now, typically, I do have some... Uh, earmuffs that we carry a lot of times. I just didn't have them handy, but 
you know that's included. But another critical element to safety is having a trauma kit. And having a good, well-supplied trauma kit with a cat tourniquet, with uh, gauze, uh, you know, things that you need with tape, uh, that is really important, chest seals, things like that, because accidents can happen and you definitely want to be able to treat those things or the ability to have yourself treated if an accident does occur. Now when shooting rifle, it's really nice to have a, some kind of rest to be able to get your accuracy and make sure you know where your rifle's hitting. Uh, I typically carry bean bags like this. These are great and then I put them on my range bag. Uh, also this CTK Precision Gun Vice, which is excellent. I've done a review on this. I've had this for a good while now. This is really excellent to be able to get your accuracy where you want it, and it's fully adjustable. Or you may have one of the lead sleds, or you may have some different options. There's a lot of different things out there. Of course, this gun vise is not going to fit in my range bag, but it's part of my range kit. Now, forgetting your targets is a real bummer. Um, we've been there and done that. And in fact, I scoured through a trash can one time looking just for cardboard or anything that I could use as a target. Because of that, I started keeping targets in my truck. This is one of the easy to see target systems and it's a uh, roll, I can just pull this off it's like a pad. Uh, so the targets are really great. But one of the problems is, is if you don't have a way to secure it. So either you get one of the staple guns, these are just excellent to have around, or clothespins like this. Uh, this can be used in a lot of different places to be able to attach it, especially if chicken wire is being used uh, like with a target stand. Now having a target stand can be vital. Um, I, one of the places I do shoot has 100 yards already set up. But if I'm trying to sight in my scope or I have iron sights and I really want to see what the accuracy is doing at closer ranges, this is a really easy thing to use. Now it is a little cattywampus because I have to replace parts from time to time but it's just a pvc pipe with some chicken wire and uh, clothes pins and i even had a review where i put this together real simple lightweight now here is my ctk precision target stand it comes with this little stand metal stand with these clips uh, you just add the wood this is an excellent lightweight system of course steel is always good western targets uh, where I got these and this has really been great right here I have target man another stand these are portable even though they're kind of heavy but they are portable and having those at the range can be a lot of fun now having a spotting scope is really important to see where your bullets are hitting where your points of impact are uh, I've been to ranges a number of times where guys would shoot a couple of rounds then they'd call for uh, a target check and for those guys who have the spotting scopes, that is really annoying and it takes forever. Having a really good spotting scope, it allows you to check your shots right then. Take three shots, look through your spotting scope, adjust your reticles. So spotting scope, obviously, especially for rifle, this is a great item to have. And if you have a high magnification scope though, it can be used as a spotting scope if you can see the points of impact. And one thing that I find is having the right tools to maintain a problem that you're having, some kind of issue. Having a multi-tool is very important. Uh, actually, I have a mutt multi-tool that I typically take. I do keep uh, some Allen wrenches when I'm adjusting the mounts on my scope. There have been times where something's come loose and I was able to adjust it because I had the correct Allen wrenches. A bore snake is really great to be able to keep your bore clean if you need to. And obviously, I just have some various cleaners here that really work well and some solvent. I don't carry all of these. I typically just carry some break free or I carry just some frog lube according to what I'm doing. That just gives me some lubrication just in case I need it. Uh, but also having actual solid steel rods and I keep it in an old military pouch. I keep my rods in here. Uh, if there's any kind of issue with the round ejecting or something like that, I've got the, the hard rod to be able to push through if I need to. Okay, a good Sharpie is excellent to be able to mark your targets and to write down information while you're at the range and having a ruler to check your groups, the sizes of your groups. And of course, having a bore sight. That is really key. Should be done before you go to the range to sight in your scope. But I've been to ranges before where the scope was so far off I had no idea, and I was bore sighting it without a bore sighter, just the old-fashioned way, looking through the bore, finding my target, lining it up with a scope, and that's a real poor way to do it. Having a good bore sight, this is a laser bore sighter, it's excellent, and uh, this is something that I like to keep with me at all times. But this can potentially turn a bad experience into a good experience if you just think ahead a little bit. You know, Don't rely on your buddy to have this stuff. You have it, let him rely on you. 
Having a good shop cloth is really good. Uh, sometimes, especially if you're at a bench and you want to rest your elbow, resting it right here, it can make it really comfortable, especially if you're shooting high-powered ammunition. Uh, I usually keep a couple handy. It just makes it really nice. Or if I'm applying some kind of cleaner or solvent or anything, I can wipe it down with this. Having a good bag to pick up your brass. That is one thing that I typically forget quite often. And I end up dumping it into my range bag. Also, one of the Lula loaders. This is great. Uh, especially if you're loading pistol mags or you're at a match or you're shooting a lot, you're at a defensive pistol or rifle class, um, that's typically when I carry this. Most of the time, I'll load by hand one round at a time. It's just the way I've done it. Uh, but the Lula loader is excellent. And if I'm loading magazines quickly, this is the best way to do it. Having a good holster and mag carriers, that can be important. Uh, some ranges don't allow that, but most do, uh, especially if you're in some kind of class or something. Uh, having a good belt, and this is a bull leather belt by DalTechForce.com. I've had this belt for about eight years, and it is fantastic. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do a review again on these because it's just such a great system. Uh, having pasters to put on your targets. This will save you, you know, your shooting. You want to cover up the holes you've already made, and this will help with that. Uh, one thing too, special note, especially for AR users or AK users for that matter, or any rifle that has long extended magazines, having short magazines uh, to be able to get your gun low down to the bench is important. You have a 30 round magazine, sometimes it can be difficult to get in a comfortable position. So I always keep either Magpul or standard GI 20 round mags and uh, this is great and of course obviously AK mags also, um, you know, whether you're, whatever rifle you're using. So just something to really think about. I've been to the range a lot of times with the long magazines, and it's been a lot of trouble setting up, and it affected my accuracy. Now, one of the critical elements of going to the range, and I just want to add this in because I think it's really important, is invite friends that have not had a lot of experience shooting that may be neutral to guns, may not really know what the big deal is, and taking them out training them, showing them how to shoot, showing them how to line up their sights, and really understanding what goes on with shooting. I've seen it over and over again where guys and girls have gone to the range and were kind of skittish. Maybe they were doing it just out of fear uh, because they felt like they needed some kind of self-defense option at their house. And when they left, they always had a big smile on their face and they were always ready to do it again. But I want to caution you on one thing. When you are working with people that are new to guns, is to be gentle. Be a teacher. Don't be a schoolmaster. Uh, you know, don't bark orders. These guys, most of the time, have no idea about gun safety or if it's a magazine and they call it a clip, don't jump down their throat. Uh, you know, take them and nurture them and develop the passion for shooting. One of the great things about the passion for shooting, though, is that it'll translate into a passion for their rights to shoot, and then they will become passionate about the Second Amendment. Take people out, teach them to shoot, spend a little money on your ammunition. I know it's expensive, but it's well worth the investment. Guys, I know putting a range bag together in the first place can be expensive, uh, but having the right tools can make your experience so much better. Instead of going out and buying just another gun, take what you have and learn how to use that. That is more important than getting a brand new pistol, getting a brand new rifle, a brand new shotgun. Have your checklist ready, keep it with your range bag, go over it, do a checklist just like a pilot does before he takes off. And this will ensure that you have everything you need together for your trip to the range. A good planned trip to the range can be a lot of fun, but there are certain things you can miss that will completely blow the whole day. So while this is really not the ultimate range bag, having the right tools in your bag to really have an enjoyable day of shooting is the ultimate range bag. So the ultimate range bag, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Fighting.
<laughs> that would be a good video.